long it seems like um just wanted to catch up with you guys and uh, let you know about a couple of things going on on my end um i clicked um the fundraiser uh button so since the last time i've done a live they've added a couple of options so um in light of everything that's happening um you know trying to do my small part um you know whatever in whatever way i can so um while the live is going on i've added the um loveland foundation you can donate to them um you know one of the many organizations that are helping um to um protect black lives and you know um moving the um black lives matter um movement further so <laughs> if you want you can go ahead and donate um hey jen hello hello everyone who's joined in uh just give me guys some updates so if you saw my feed today i posted a um cross stitch about a cross stitch tutorial that i've added on youtube um for how to do cross stitch on tunisian crochet so tony from tl yarn crafts actually posted about it a couple of weeks ago and i've been itching to try it and i finally did um i actually learned cross stitch like on you know like with regular um embroidery floss back in um seventh grade so um yeah so i i liked it then but it just you know it takes a lot of patience so i kind of um lost touch i didn't um i didn't uh i didn't continue with it so um let me see just gonna say hey to everyone who's joined in thanks for watching um yeah so let me know what you're working on um you know what where you're coming from and what you're working on today for whip wednesday um so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys a close-up of, of what i've been working on so that's what i posted today so i've started adding the blue so initially i started with um like a single strand but i noticed that you could see too much of the white in the background so then i did a, a double strand so um this is going to be a wall hanging for like a nursery um and even like anywhere else in your home if you um if you want to brighten up a space or something um so that's kind of what i have in mind with this um, it's a work in progress um, and I have the tutorial up on YouTube um, for how to do cross stitch on Tunisian crochet. That's um, the latest tutorial. I posted something after such a long time. <laughs> You're working on the pink shorts. Ginger, oh my god, I love those. Those look so cool. Can't wait to see them finished. Um, and let's see what else. So um, for the first time ever uh, I had my design published in a magazine um, for this month's issue of Happily Hooked magazine. Um, it's the Honeycomb um, kitchen set which is a Tunisian crochet design. It's a set of a table runner. Well this one is still um, a work in progress. <laughs> um, I have to add the tassels and leave in the ends but basically it's this beautiful texture. It's made, made with the Burnout Maker um, home decor yarn um, which I absolutely love. It's so great and the stitch definition is, is amazing. Um, but yeah so it's the set of the table runner um, and it has tassels on all four corners and then um, a towel kitchen towel and um i added a bit of twine to, to give a, a bit of like a farmhouse touch to it so um this is a set and it's available in the happily hooked magazine um mm -hmm. for this month and uh you can check it out at um the link in my bio but wait i have more things to tell you so don't go yet <laughs> um let me see Thank you, thank you for everyone who's joined in. Um, thank you for the love. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> thanks, Ginger. I'm so glad you like the wall hanging. I'm still gonna be 
Um, I think I have a ways to go before I finish it. And it's a nice mindless project for me right now, so when I take my sweet time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the set is available um, in the Happily Hooked magazine um, for this month. You can get to the um, issue straight from the um, link in my bio if you, if you go straight to the Ravelry um, link. Or you can subscribe to their, um, like you can join the subscription via my affiliate link, which is also in the bio. So make sure you check those out. I'm so excited. It's my first time um, being published and it's, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Um, I've already seen a couple of projects on Ravelry, which is really exciting. <laughs> uh, it's exciting to see your work out in the wild like that. So what else, what else? The set is amazing. Oh, thank you, Ginger. <laughs> Hi, thank you for joining in. Um, so those are a couple of things there. And then um, another event, a blog event that I'm part of is Crochet for a Cause by, um, uh, it's hosted by Edith Blaine. She is uh, hosting this event um, to promote charity crochet. Um, so every week on Monday, uh, from Monday to Sunday, um, there will be two um, hat or scarf patterns released um, and they'll be free for the entire week. You can grab the PDFs for that week. Um, so last week there were two hats. This week there's a hat and a scarf. Um, I think, now I can't remember who the designers are, but um, definitely go check out my um, blog post and you can get to both of the patterns and download them. Congratulations on being published. Thank you so much, Ginger. <laughs> couldn't have done it without you <laughs> and the other testers thank you so much for testing for me um so yeah go check out the um blog event uh check out the blog post for crochet for a cause um and then basically you know every week you're gonna be making um a couple of hats and scarves you got the free patterns and then you make them and then you have a bunch um, a bunch of these to ready to donate at the end of the summer so this event is actually going on for the entire summer my um, pattern will be available the week of June 29th so look out for that um, and I might even share this a uh, free pattern for this um, scarf that I'm working on which I have loved working on I started this in Ramadan as like a as a as a donation piece um you know like a mindless piece just to like you know while i was just you know praying or like you know remembering um mm -hmm. doing some remembrance of god and um, of allah and like just wanted to keep stitching um and it was like a really fun mm -hmm. project just kind of like mindless just kind of you know while i was meditating reflecting um so I started this back in Ramadan, but I'm loving how it's working up. This is um, the uh, this is yarn from Aquarius Make. She's a um, yarn dyer based in Michigan. She is also Muslim. She's my friend, <laughs> and um, I absolutely love this colorway. Just look at how it's working up. It's so pretty. And this is again the honeycomb stitch. I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> if you can't tell, um, so. I might release this as an extra pattern um, as part of the Crochet for a Cause event, so be on the lookout. And I did something cool, I actually added like a stopper to the end of my Clover um, Tunisian Crochet hook to turn it into like a straight hook, and just been working like that with it, <laughs> and I think it's pretty uh, convenient. So, uh, what I had to talk about so this is like my make for yourself project right now so make for yourself is a hashtag that I started um, in hopes to encourage other makers to take a step back and just work on something that's for themselves you know just um, kind of something mindless something to get away from the hustle bustle and like you know the constant like mental stress or like you know the um I guess you can say mental stress of like constantly coming up with new designs or um adding items to your shop just making things for others um gets kind of overwhelming sometimes so I started the hashtag make for yourself so if you're ever working on anything um for yourself 
um, please use, use the hashtag. I'd love to feature your work. Um, and right now it's the scarf for me. <laughs> and I have, I actually have um, some pants I'm also working on um, from I Love Tinderbox, but it's it's been on pause for a while that whip so um yeah so that's kind of what i've been working on let me know what you guys are up to what you've been working on and yeah i have a crochet skirt idea in my hat in my mind that i need to <laughs> work on as well i'm waiting for measurements from this lovely mom I met um, because she bought some prayer hats from me during Ramadan and she has super cute children and I just like asked her if um, she'd be willing to be like a not an ambassador but just like you know provide me with pictures in exchange for um, handmade items and she was totally um, happy about that and she said she'd love to help me out so I'm waiting for her um, daughter's measurements because I don't have any daughters or girls around me that can <laughs> try that out um, try a skirt out so I'm gonna I'm gonna get her help and hopefully I can sit down and make that and it's gonna be using the um, we crochet official yarn um, that I got as part of a blog event that I was as part of so um, they provided yarn support for that, for the square, if you were following along the Tunisian orchid square um, that I did like a couple months back. Hi! Thanks for joining in. How are you, Sadia? <laughs> oh, Ginger, I'm so glad you like the scarf. I love, I love how it's, um, it's, it's turning out. Like, it's, it's amazing. <clears throat> like, it, it almost looks like, like it was made to be worked up like this, <laughs> like the little, you know, these, I love these little stripes, striping effect. Yeah, so, let me know, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, and uh, yeah, I have so many design ideas that I just need to sit down and work on and just get out, um, but the most daunting part I think for me is like the testing process and like getting testers and just getting through that whole testing process um yeah so <laughs> I just have to push myself to do it and make sure you're signed up to my newsletter you know because that's where um you can directly communicate with me where you'll get all of my updates and everything directly to your inbox um and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you'll get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial or like a new pattern or something on there. And uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys are working on if you're on here. And <laughs> we need more hours in the day. I couldn't agree more, Ginger. Seriously. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my time goes into like the computer work, like blog work, editing, all that stuff, and then it's like I'm so drained I don't don't have the energy to sit down and, and make like the actual thing, you know. One of these days I'll have someone helping me with the technical part of, of this. <laughs> Hmm, let's see what else. I think I shared. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't see my post from last week, definitely go give them a read. Um, with everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Matter movement, um, I feel like everything starts at home. Um, we need to focus on ourselves do some, you know, soul searching and then also like teaching the next generation um, how to treat people fairly and just, you know, just kind of focusing on, on, on the home end of things. Um, and then obviously also like the systemic, um, like the community-wide and the sy systemic 
um, changes that we can work towards as well. But first, I think it starts at home. And I've shared a couple of resources last week um, in my post. I shared how to raise anti-racist children. Um, and it was actually taken from another um, from a resource, and I've actually linked to um, all the like original content creators. But um, definitely go give it a read, and um, I hope it helps. Like you know, just in terms of how to behave at home and how to like help our children um, learn right from wrong just from the get go. Because I feel like there's been you know, especially in my culture, like I feel like for generations it's been it's been pretty bad like we have been very um i know we've turned a blind eye and we've just been following what the what the normal has been for so long but it hasn't been it's not good you know um so we need to move towards changing the narrative and just kind of correcting the biases that exist already in our and our culture and um, like you know what we've been taught to believe which is wrong so yeah just make sure you check those um, posts out I, I hope they help you uh, so I have never written any patterns that takes away from crochet time I know ginger it really does <laughs> hi thanks for joining <laughs> yeah let me know if you've joined them let me know where you're from what you're working on hi <laughs> it's been so long since i've done a live i just feel so awkward <laughs> i hope i'm doing okay <laughs> yeah so look out for this this guy at some point doing cross stitch on tunisia and doing something new hey elisa what you up to <laughs> huh, yeah what's the weather like where you guys are it's pretty hot here like it's getting hot <laughs> i'm more of a fall girl so i'm just waiting for for september to come <laughs> St. John, New, New Brunswick, right? Canada, perfect summer poncho by, oh, nice. Woods and Moe has some really nice designs. She's, she's great. <laughs> it's been a while, I haven't checked out her feed. I think I'm gonna go do that after, after the live. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, just waiting for the border to open up so I can go see my mom and sister because <laughs> oh, I miss Canada. I miss them and miss being in Canada. Oh, 19 degrees Celsius. That sounds nice. Eating lunch at the moment. Weather kind of hot right now. Yeah, same here. Yeah, and so next week also be on the lookout for a, um, I'm going to be uh, going live with um, with Claire from Eclair Makery, and she's been interested in, um, in learning how to do crochet, Tunisian crochet color work, so I'm going to attempt to teach her, we'll see how that goes. Um, so be on the lookout for that and if you're on my like if you're not on my mailing list go ahead and join um my news like subscribe my to my newsletter so that um you can be notified when that goes live and then you can see you know <laughs> um and i'm hoping to share a pattern um during the live like yeah it's gonna be cute hi welcome everyone who's joining in just giving some updates just waving to everybody here hey sorry hi hello hello <laughs> let me know if you're joining in where you're coming from what you're working on this whip wednesday <laughs> I have a couple of whips going, um, yeah, just a matter of like getting through them. 
So I posted about this today. I keep I keep flashing it like <laughs> Tunisian crochet, like the base is Tunisian crochet, um, and I'm just doing some cross stitch on it. I posted a tutorial on YouTube um, where you can learn how to do cross stitch on Tunisian crochet. It's very simple. Um, it's like a four minute video, so if you want to go check it out, um, the link is in my bio for that. <laughs> and I realized that I need to do double strands um, just with, with the worsted weight so that um, the white doesn't show through. So I've just been, I had to like take it apart a little bit, I had to do some frogging. Hi from Austria, almost bedtime for the kids in this part of the world, wow. <laughs> That's so, yeah. I hope they don't give you trouble in sleeping <laughs> and getting to sleep. I have a hard time getting my little guy to sleep on time sometimes. Hi, thanks for joining. Let me know what whips you have going for Whip Wednesday. I'd love to know, get inspired. Um, and if you're making something for yourself, make sh <laughs> make sure to use the hashtag make for yourself. Um, you can find it in my bio, and you can actually search the hashtag if you're looking for <clears throat> if you're looking for some inspo. Um, basically, I create the hashtag in an attempt to encourage makers to um, take a step back and just make something for themselves, like you know, just enjoy the craft. Um, so like as a, you know, self-care thing rather than making for your business or, you know, for adding inventory to your shops or things like that, but just to like take a step back and just enjoy it. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out the hashtag. <laughs> Hi. Let me see. I always lose track of time, so I gotta see what, okay, it's 1.23, so I think I'm gonna leave when it's 1.30. Um, cause I gotta do some more stuff, <laughs> but yeah, make sure, and also, um, as I mentioned previously, make sure to check out the Crochet for a Cause event, um, that's being hosted by Edith Blaine, um, you can head to the link in my bio and check out the full blog post that I put up, um, where, um, it'll link you to, um, you'll find all the links, sorry, to the free, um, pattern um, PDFs for the week. So there's a hat and or scarf pattern every week, um, two hats, hat scarf, hat slash scarf patterns, um, PDFs that are free for the entire week. Um, and then um, and then the following week, there'll be a couple more new patterns. Um, and then, you know, just download them and make um, whatever you can, you can make the same thing. Um, or you can um, make one of each item um, and this event lasts the entire summer and then at the end of summer you can donate to um, a charity of your of your choosing and it's just a way of like you know giving back and um, working on um, charity crochet so make sure to check it out and this week's um, are really good. There's a scarf as well as a hat, and they're both really cute. Dinosaur bobble blanket. My mosaic, your mosaic crochet afghan is amazing, Ginger. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I have yet to try mosaic crochet. <laughs> is it more like corner to corner? Because I, because I think I sat down to try corner to corner, but I wasn't as successful. <laughs> I might have to work at it. Sherry Berry. Hi. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to head off you guys, just wanted to quickly pop in and give you guys a bit of an update. Um, make sure to um, donate, because I added that <laughs> fundraiser at the bottom there, um, to the Loveland Foundation. Um, you know, what's going on right now 
you know, whatever little we can do to help, it goes a long way. So make sure you donate or um, even just, you know, check out my post from last week um, where I talked about, you know, the, um, the injustice that has been going on for years, even within my own community. And just kind of, I talked about my personal experience of how I've been wrong in the past and just kind of done some soul searching to, you know, encourage others to do the same. And um, we need to really dig deep and figure out what kind of biases we've um, had growing up and continue to have and just correct those. It'll take time because it's been happening for so long. Um, but that and also teaching future generations and not to follow those type of ideals and um, change the narrative. So um, make sure you check out my post from last week and I've shared some resources in terms of how we can do that. Um, yeah, make sure you check all of that out. And then um, yeah, and check out all my current links in my bio. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your web Wednesday. I'm going to probably head off. Um, but yeah. Bye, Sarah. Okay, we need to we need to do a live together at some point. Um, maybe next Wednesday. Let's see. I will let you know. But yeah, thanks for joining in. Whoever has joined in and whoever is watching the replay. Um, Make sure to check out all the links in my bio, check out my post from today, and my YouTube tutorial for how to cross stitch on Tunisian crochet. Trust me, once you stop, you won't be able to, once you start, you won't be able to stop. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.